I didn't let it really affect my life too much. I just kind of dealt with the pain. But the problems got worse with age and with sensitivity and just hurt, hurt a lot. Walking became a problem because it hurt all the more the longer I walked. And the more I was on my feet, it got worse. And therefore, it just became such a problem that it was going to affect everything that I did. And I was not going to be able to keep doing the things that I have always done. As that pain got worse, they decided that the surgery needed to be done, and it needed to be done now. Faced with the alternative, which would have been eventually a wheelchair probably, uh, the decision's pretty much made for you unless you want to live that way, and I didn't. I wanted to be mobile as long as I could. Dr. Weiner took me to the OR and did a laminectomy, uh, put four screws in L4 and L5 to fuse them together so that they will never ever move again. They communicated very well and they communicated with me. They told me what they were going to do and why they were going to do it and what they hoped the end result would be. The next day I was on my feet with almost no pain. And it, it just was unbelievable that I could stand up and not have the pain. Of course, my grandkids are, are glad. They're very happy that I'm much more healthy and they don't have to be listening to me complaining about my back hurting all the time. Molly will graduate on May 22nd and we will drive up to Boston for that with the pain in my lower back. I wouldn't have been able to go and it would have killed me not to be there. Well, I lived with her for pretty much a year, uh, the worst of it for six months. To have it gone is like being born again or having a new spine put in your back. I'm going to be 81 years old in two weeks. And, you know, for an 80-year-old, that's a daunting kind of thing. But, oh my, I would do it over again in a New York minute.